Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Cubase tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to extract MIDI from any audio file within Cubase. Uh, this is a question that comes up a lot, if Cubase can do it, and the simple answer is yes. I'm going to show you now how quick and easy it is to do. I'm going to give you a first uh, couple examples. The first example, we're going to extract the MIDI from a very simple chord progression. I'm going to play it for you now so you can hear. Okay, so we're going to extract this as MIDI. On your audio file, you're going to double click. Then the dialog box opens here. You're going to make it larger, just to make it a bit easier for us. And then you're going to get a whole bunch of options here. You're going to tap the one that says Very Audio. And then you're going to click Edit Very Audio. I'm just going to just expand that so you can see. And here you go. Here are your MIDI notes. And as you can see, with the pitch bend data. Now, before you extract the audio file, you can actually change the pitch bend data. As you can see, I'm changing it as it goes. You can even change the notes that are being played. So just to show you as an example, we can move this up. Let's say we're going to bring this down, bring this one. We can even cut that, bring it up, just to show you as an example. Now, obviously, those are extreme examples, so you can choose however you feel. And now we want to extract this as MIDI once you're complete messing around with the actual notes within the audio file. You're going to go back to your very audio options here. You're going to click Function. Then you're going to click Extract MIDI. Then you're going to be greeted with another uh, dialog box here. And your options are, the first one is just notes and no pitch bend data. Personally, this is the one that I use all the time, but again, matter of preference of how you feel. And you're going to get another couple options here. The one is notes and static pitch bend data, notes and continuous pitch bend data, and much more. You're going to find your volume mode. Usually fixed velocity, I usually keep to that. And again, with velocity, this you can change however you feel. You can make it higher if you want, over 100% or lower. And then your destination will be first selected track. That's usually the one that I keep. And you're going to click OK. And that is it. And here you are going to find your MIDI extracted. Now, uh, I'm going to play the actual MIDI that we've extracted in another MIDI file. Uh, sorry, uh, through a VST instrument. So this is my piano that I've loaded up. So I'm going to mute the audio that we had. I'm going to play just the extracted MIDI within a piano. You'll find that generally it is a little bit hit and miss within the uh, Cubase uh, program with regards to extracting MIDI, but the general idea is there for what the notes are being played. Like you'll find usually these smaller notes or the repeated notes, you can even glue them together just to make things a little bit easier when it's usually like this. And then this will make your life a lot easier. And then through here, through trial and error, you can actually replicate exactly what the sound is. So as you can hear, it's not entirely correct, so you'll have to fiddle around yourself. Another example that I'm going to be using now is going to be, let's say we're going to extract a MIDI from a rather complicated uh, piano sample. So let's have a listen to this. Okay. So again, simple. You're going to go to your audio file, double click, expand the window if you want. Click Edit Very Audio. As you can hear, here is our MIDI. We're happy with it as it is, so we don't want to mess around with any of the keys and change them up or any of the pitch bend data. Function, extract MIDI. We're okay with this. We're going to click OK. And then there we go, here we have our second one. So just to let it hear what we've extracted. So there we go. So to play it together with them so you can get an idea. See, the more, the example, the reason why I wanted to show you this is that with, when it comes to more complicated uh, audio files, the actual extraction of the MIDI is not entirely 100%. So this is something you're going to have to work around 
by actually adjusting the files yourself. Okay, and my last example that I'm going to do is with a vocal. So you can see what it's going to be like when we extract a vocal into MIDI. So let's have a listen to the vocal. I can feel you in my heart, you in my arms. <sighs> okay, so you can hear that. Again, double click. Now, without expanding it, it, your options will still be here for Edit Very, very Audio. I just like to expand it so I can see exactly what I'm working with. Click Edit Very Audio. Yeah, you can see this is the, our vocal. Extract MIDI. Okay. And there we go. Here is our audio extracted into MIDI from our vocal. Now, as you can hear, because the vocal is a bit more of a cleaner audio file compared to, let's say, our complicated uh, <laughs> piano melody that we had. So as you can hear, I'll play the piano together with the vocal so you can get a good idea. I can feel you in my heart, you in my arms. <sighs> As you can hear, compared to the other two examples, because the vocal is much cleaner, and Cubase's uh, extraction of MIDI within the vocal is much easier, much more clearer compared to the other samples. So yeah, that is the best way to do it and the easiest way to do it within Cubase. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to find more Cubase tutorials and house music production videos.